Friday, February 4th. Hello everyone, today we're going to be in our 150 square foot garden and taking a quick, uh, quick look at a couple things. First, uh, we had this remnant piece of poly sheet and during the winter time we grew a zucchini plant under there along with a Hollis pumpkin. Uh, since it's warmed up, I took half of the sheet off and here's a Black Beauty zucchini. We harvested some in January, so that, that's pretty cool. And this was just to see if it was possible. I may or may not do this again because it kind of takes a little bit of effort to put this together. So just wanted to see if it was possible. This is the uh, Hollis pumpkin. And the other day I hand pollinated it and also put this clip here to ensure that we don't get cross pollination. Um, so that's why that's there. The other thing about the zucchini so far, speaking of pollination, when it was under the cover, something went in there and pollinated it. So that's pretty cool. Maybe ants or or something. We're just kind of not sure which insect did it. Maybe the pill bugs. Because with it covered, the bees weren't getting in there. The other thing um, I wanted to share is that we had this raised planter that was here for the longest time. And we made it out of sticks that we harvested from our trees. Um, I wanted to transform this space now because things have changed. Uh, there's less light hitting this back area now because of the peach tree that we've grown in front. And right now I'm doing uh, um, a method called uh, espelier, espeli, which is a French um, word for just getting your trees to grow horizontally. So I've got this bucket weighing down this branch to pull it down. Uh, so in the back, the plan is to grow things that are shade tolerant like the Vietnamese herbs and then on top here maybe we'll do strawberries so this uh, these planters these vertical planters were built with cedar board and this is about a hundred dollars worth of materials around 86 dollars in the board boards so 20 boards and then a box of the deck screws so we use uh, deck screws and we just quickly put this together I'm gonna level it off and then we're gonna start planting uh, maybe some strawberries up in here Let's see what else is going on. Uh, in the low tunnel here, we have a couple of tomato plants that are in there. And uh, we are planting these for a trial for a product. So I have this in the low tunnel, not because it's cold, but because a skunk keeps coming in and digging up our beds. And since we really need those plants to, to be around for the product testing, we have to protect them. Uh, so this area, the skunk just keeps digging. And then um, here I have this patch of Gylon that's protected with rose thorns. And that's been working so far. Um, other things that we have are some um, giant mustard. And that's pretty much it in this, in this area. Uh, over here is a, a mess that we're hoping to clean up. So my project for fall, or not fall, um, mid-February or even March, is to build some storage area using uh, fence board. So we're gonna build some kind of storage area and maybe put a, a sink to wash our vegetables with because we have this sink that my old neighbor uh, gave to us that I've been meaning to put out here. So there it is, sink. And we're hoping to be able to have a vegetable washing station and then more storage because this year I wanna work on clearing out the clutter that we have all over our backyard like like this mess that you never really see. Um, so that's what we have planned for this coming month. And um, we have seedlings in the greenhouse now. So we have some seedlings in here. And then we have some seedlings in, that have been booted out to the greenhouse. And these are the, these are the um, pepper and eggplant seedlings. And we have a few varieties. The uh, pots are, the bootstrap farmer pots and they're color coded. So we have some things like the Yula Wonder, uh, one of the, and many of the things that we grow year after year, the Plabanos, the Hatch Peppers. So these are the ones that are uh, in the greenhouse and we have more in the grow room uh, that is starting to fill up. So it's getting ready to be planting time. I checked the bottom to see if the roots are starting to poke out. So you can see that white portion that means it's ready to be transplanted. So I'm gonna have to find a spot for some of these eggplants and peppers. 
yeah, it's getting exciting. It's warming up and we're going to get going in our garden soon. Thanks for coming in and checking in on how we're doing. And we'll see you in a future episode. Have a good one.